Today, we're going to be discussing the top 10 reasons why you should hire a professional painter rather than doing it yourself. Of course, you could go out and buy all the paint and the tools and spend a couple of weekends with a DIY project, or you could hire a professional painter and they can have it done a lot quicker. Plus, you get to enjoy your weekends. So let's move on to the top 10 reasons why you should hire a professional painter. Not every professional painter is an expert colorist or designer, but they can usually help you narrow it down quite a bit by recommending colors that are trending and that work with your style of decor. If they are uncomfortable helping you choose colors, ask if they know anyone who could help you. Most painters know a designer who can get you on the right track. You have to look at the interior of your home every day. Make sure that the color is something you can live with. Most people won't take the time to properly choose their colors. Not doing this step properly can lead to frustration if you don't like the color when it's painted on the wall. And uneven lines and sheens usually aren't noticed until all the paint has dried. Bad cut-ins and uneven coats are a surefire way to make a paint job look horrible and cause you to wish you would have hired someone with some experience. By the time you buy all the tools necessary to paint the interior of your home, you could have almost paid for a professional to do it for you. The proper brushes, rollers, and poles aren't cheap, and if they are cheap, you'll be sure to get a poor finish. Plus, you won't have to clean up or find a place to store those tools either. Professional painters will already have the tools necessary to complete any painting task. A professional painter should know how to properly apply the paint so that you get the full color and sheen from it. They also have years of experience and techniques that allow them to finish those little details correctly. The difference between a novice painter's work and a professional's, it's night and day, and almost everyone can tell the difference. A professional painter should clean up completely when they are finished with the job. Depending on the scope of the project, they may or may not clean up in between days, but at the end of the job, they should bag up all the trash, check all the floors for drips, clean around and clean out any sinks. This is what most people don't care to do and can make a huge difference in the satisfaction of the final product if it's done completely and correctly. You work eight hours per day, five days per week. When you're not working, you don't want to spend it painting. For a professional painter, they put in their 40 hours doing just that. Plus, they don't have all the distractions that you will have inside your home. It's tough to keep painting when you have to get dinner ready for the kids, take the dog out, or answer all the phone calls. Most people are lucky to get two hours of painting in per day when they try to do it themselves. A pro, they spend eight hours per day doing it for you. That's at least four times faster if you don't factor in the skill and technique of the professional painter. A professional painter should have a great warranty. Most pro painters have at least a two year warranty on their labor. Sometimes you can get it as high as 10 years. If you do it yourself, you'll also be doing all the touch ups later down the road. A professional painter will come back and take care of those for you. Now, if they were scuffs or scratches that weren't caused by their work, eh, they may charge you a little bit for their time, but it would be well worth it. And your painter should keep track of the colors for you so that you don't have to hunt down what color you used on that living room wall. Even though I didn't make this the number one reason, this is a big one. Professional painters know their paints and what works best for each specific task. Using the wrong type of paint or even worse, low quality paint can end up costing you more in the future when it starts to wear out or looks bad within a couple of years, causing you to have to repaint. This is especially true when you have young kids or pets in the home. The price of materials usually runs between 7-12% to of the total cost of a professional paint job. The price difference between great paint and good enough paint, it'll be well worth it. According to the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, every year half a million people are treated for ladder-related injuries and approximately 300 of these incidents proved to be fatal. In 2007 alone, more than 400 people died as a result of falls on or from ladders or scaffolding. Ladder-related injuries per 100,000 people rose almost 27% during a recent 16-year study period. 
97.3% of those injuries occurred in non-occupational settings such as homes and farms. More than 2.1 million people needed to be hospitalized due to a fall injury. Working on a ladder is tough work and it's dangerous and it's hard to concentrate on safety when you're doing something that you aren't experienced at. You have a much higher chance of a ladder injury than a professional painter would have. Even a small hospital bill for a sprained ankle would be more expensive than hiring a professional painter to do the job for you. The number one question you should ask and follow up on is if the professional painter you are going to hire is licensed and insured. Licensing is easy to get, so that's not as big of an issue but make sure that they have liability insurance to protect your home in case of accidental damage as well as workman's compensation insurance to protect you from a lawsuit in case one of their employees gets hurt while working in your home. There are too many stories where a homeowner hired a painter who wasn't insured because it was cheaper and it ended up costing them a lot more than if they would have just hired a painter who carried the proper insurances. I cannot stress this enough. Do your due diligence. Ask them if they have their insurance and make them send you copies of their liability and workman's comp certificates with the estimate or proposal and call the insurance company to make sure they are up to date and covered. This only takes a few minutes and could potentially save you thousands of dollars and a lot of stress. So in conclusion, it might be a little more expensive to hire a professional painter than it would be to do it yourself but the value you'll receive from hiring a professional will be much better. Also, hiring a pro can make it safer and give you more time to do the things you'd rather be doing. So, get a few proposals from a qualified painting professional and sit back and relax while they take care of the hard work. And thanks for watching. If you aren't a subscriber yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You can also set the notifications to alert you each time we upload a new video. That way you'll be sure to see all of our new content as soon as we put it on YouTube.